Hello, everyone. My name is Jimmy Song, and welcome to Off Chain. Uh, this is sort of an experiment. I'm going to try doing daily shows for a little bit and see how they go. Uh, anyway, I, 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 there's a lot of stuff to talk about, so I want to make sure that uh, that we get to all of it. Um, first, first thing to note is that Bitcoin Core has been released. Um, it's it's very exciting. This is a uh, you know uh, a release. Uh, it's a minor version release. Uh, it has uh, bug fixes and performance improvements. Always good to take a look. Um, if if you have 0.15.0, you should be fine. One of, one of the things that was a little bit disappointing is that they didn't get the SegWit stuff into the wallet quite yet. Um, that'll probably be in like 0.15.2 or maybe even 0.16. So anyway, a um, lot, lot of uh, notable changes here. Let's take a look. I mean, the, this was released like literally like five minutes ago. So I'm just going to uh, look through it with you at the same time. Um, Let's see, unrequested blocks with less work than the minimum chain work are now no longer processed. Um, okay, peers which provide a chain with less work. Um, yeah, so these are sort of network fork safety things. Um, not that it really needs it, although, you know, who knows what might happen with 2x, right? Uh, minor block size limiting deprecated. Uh, Though block, mac, block max weight has been preferred for limiting the size of blocks returned by get block templates in 0 0.13, remained as an option for those who wish to limit their block size directly. Um, okay, any minor, yeah, so that, that option, I guess, was uh, deprecated. So you can still use it until it gets completely removed. Um, duplicate wallets disallowed. Uh, uh huh. Low level current block size. Oh, okay, so there, there's a few more RPC commands. That's kind of nice. Um, here are all the contributors. Thank you, the developers. Um, these are that you should be thanking. Um, check out this list of people. Um, you know, the, these are the people that contributed specifically to this particular release. It's been signed by Vladimir, um, who's uh, sort of the release manager for Bitcoin Core. Anyway, good stuff. Thank you to the developers that made this possible. All right, second thing. Um, so this is Bitcoin 2X. They are uh, uh, claiming that they are still going to go through with the hard fork um, as if there aren't enough uh, you know, uncertainties in Bitcoin. Uh, this, you know, who, who knows how this is affecting, uh, affecting Bitcoin and its price and everything else. So we are seeing that uh, you know they're they're going they're still planning to fork. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll we'll see we'll see how that actually happens. Uh, we don't know who's behind it. Uh, I, I suppose we could do some investigating and uh, do a DNS lookup of who owns the domain and all that stuff. But so, somebody is claiming that they will continue with the Bitcoin 2x hard fork, which should be in a few days. Um, we'll we'll see. We are exploring different replay protection in addition to the fork to avoid network instability. So um, at least they're going to put a network uh, replay pr protection. Um, hopefully they do something uh, like Bitcoin Gold and add like a different network magic and add, um, add you know, strong replay protection. But we'll see. Um, at the very least, it looks like somebody is motivated to make it look like there will be something. We don't know uh, how that will work. All right, Bitcoin Gold. Uh, there is literally one day and three hours um, until the main net launch. Uh, I uh, I think this is the main change here is that the POW algorithm is Equihash. Um, a strong replay protection and a unique address format. They have like a little nice uh, you know chart of what the differences are and everything else. Um, the actual block size, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you can look at the fact and everything else, but the mainnet launch, as you can see, is uh, it's, uh, less, it's, it's a little over a day away. Um, and, you know, this was in their announcements on their blog. If you're subscribed to their email list, you get sort of like a continuous feed of what's going on, uh, but that's, that's what's going on with Bitcoin Gold. Um, the other thing of note is that uh, Bitcoin Cash has gone up significantly. Uh, we are now at 1,282. That's like 0.8 uh, Bitcoins, um, especially given Bitcoin's um, 
drop in price recently. Uh, this is, uh, you know, obviously somebody is, or some people, some group, um, probably a lot of people associated with Segway2x, um, they are dumping their Bitcoin for Bitcoin Cash. Um, and that's that's probably causing the price to go up. I won't go all tone on you and uh, and give you all the, you know, TD indicator and all that stuff. But it does look like, uh, you know, it's uh, it's on a very strong uptrend. We'll, we'll see where that goes. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I just want I want to thank you guys uh, for subscribing to my channel. I had uh, I had something like uh, nine hundred people. I mean, I I I am kind of making this video in part because of you guys that already subscribed to my channel. I had nine hundred people subscribe overnight. I I thought it was just gonna be like maybe a hundred people at tops, and you know, I, I I'd start making shows on Monday. But given all the different things that have that have happened today. I, I, I just wanted to make sure that uh, that you guys got something from me. And I'm, I'm obviously excited to be launching my own channel and doing a lot of the stuff that, uh, you know, that, that I think is important. You know, I, I don't, uh, I, I have my own, um, you know, place to sort of post videos and try different things. Um, I'm really curious as to see how this will work out. I'm, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I, I have been on World Crypto Network. I'll continue to be on the World Crypto Network. It's just, you know, I I, I like doing this stuff. So um, anyway, uh, yeah, it's uh, let me let me see if there are any questions about what's going to happen. Uh, let's see. Chat says, hey, Jimmy, thoughts about the orchestrated pump attack from B-Trash that scares the newbies. I don't know if it's orchestrated. Um, I mean, there were people that honestly, genuinely wanted Segway2x to happen. And there were people on Twitter saying, hey, you know what? I'm going to um, leave, uh, I'm, I'm going to sell a lot of my Bitcoin position and go to Bitcoin Cash if uh, Segway2x does not happen. And, uh, and you, know, uh, you know, good on them. They're, they're sticking to their word. They're saying, hey, you know what? I, uh, this is what I value and, uh, you know, being, being able to send fairly cheap transactions. So that, that's what they're doing. Um, let's see what else is here. Uh, do we sell <laughs> big gold or wait until Roger Ver pumps it? Yeah, that's, uh, I, I don't know if Roger Ver is behind uh, Bitcoin gold, to be honest with you. Uh, Bitcoin gold seems very much like something that is, uh, that is motivated by something completely different. If you look at Bitcoin, you can sort of see it as two different properties, a medium of exchange and a store of value. Bitcoin Cash was clearly something that was more motivated by medium of exchange. Bitcoin Gold is sort of on the opposite ends of the spectrum, end of the spectrum, in that it's trying to be a store of value. That said, I mean they they had that pre mine. They they're you know um, switching to Equihash and all that stuff. Um, you know it's supposedly to uh, switch out of uh, you know minor centralization and all that stuff. Uh, we'll we'll see if that if that matters um, and you know how the market will value it. I, I wouldn't say Roger Ver is behind it or anything like that. It's it's very clear Jack Leal is behind it. He's the guy behind ASIC Miner um, or Lightning ASIC, not ASIC Miner. Uh, and you know he he clearly has a different vision of Bitcoin than maybe Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash, which is why he he's making this hard for. Um, you know, we'll we'll see where it goes. Uh, it's I think trading at around 0 0.03 of Bitcoin, which is like three percent to your stash if you want to just dump it. Um, but you know, that's that's not bad. All right, uh, let's see what else here. Uh, all right, uh, all right. Uh, Jimmy looks a lot like the Jimmy from the World Crypto Network. Coincidence? Yeah, I am the same person. <laughs> Uh, do you know a good lightning wallet to try? Yeah, um, Jack Mullers has one. Um, gosh, uh, let me let me look up the tweet. Um, let's see, John Newberry definitely has a bunch. Had that huge tweet storm where he was uh, he was telling everybody about the different things that are coming to lightning. Uh, all right, so there's three. Um, there's three lightning UIs. There's one, uh, there, this is called, uh, is this Neutrino? I forget. 
Yeah, it is. It, it's powered by Neutrino, but they they it's from Lightning Labs. They have a Lightning wallet. Uh, there's Zap Wallet by Jack Maulers, and then there's LND GUI by Alex Bosworth. Uh, all very good developers. I believe they're all in Go, uh, which is interesting because uh, you know sort of a hot new language these days. Um, but yeah, the, those are all ones that you guys should try. They're all open source. Um, I'll, I'll po post links later and you guys can take a look at it. Uh, all right, let's see, what else is there? Uh, will a Bitcoin fork ever Lightning's place as the silver to Bitcoin's gold? Um, I don't know if Lightning ever, well, I mean, I, I don't know. It, it, it depends on what silver means to you, right? Like, uh, does that mean like it's sort of like, an alternative that's more plentiful or something like that. And that's, I think that was, I think what Charlie Lee's vision was, but you know, what, whatever uh, silver means to you, uh, it's not like sort of an objective definition. So it's hard to say that something will take uh, its place. Uh, another one, POW change on BTC likely, Luke is talking about it nonstop now. I mean, if you wanted a POW change, I mean, Bitcoin gold doesn't look terrible. I mean, it's, it's using Equihash, it's, uh, you know, it's it's GPU mineable. Um, that said, like a lot of GPUs are now owned by like altcoin mining farms now. So it's not that decentralized. And uh, uh, and, you know, somebody will make machines that are more efficient and things like that. I, I don't I don't know how that that that's uh, that's going to help that much. I, I, it looks like, uh, you know, Bitcoin uh, has done pretty well. Uh, it's, it's sort of repelled 2x because the community didn't really want it. Um, and that's, that's something that going forward, I think is fine. Um, will, will we get attacked by miners? I mean, I, I really don't think so. And it's because of the social community around Bitcoin. As soon as a miner attacks the Bitcoin network uh, through mining empty blocks or selfish mining or any of these other ways in which uh, people have thought of uh, in attacking Bitcoin. Well, what's going to happen? Well, you know, the, the community is going to get very angry. Uh, they're, they're going to that that miners name is going to be mud. No one's going to want to deal with them. Um, and it, it becomes this sort of thing where, you know, they're, they're isolated from the rest of the community. So I, I don't think uh, it's necessarily a good thing. ETA on Lightning. I mean, Lightning sort of works already on testnet, um, and there are a bunch of implementations. I, I don't know if it's a good idea to put much money on it right now, but um, I bet you you'll be able to do something in the next month or so. Uh, are we? Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah. All right. So anyway, um, this was sort of like a test show to see see how I do with sort of like a mini daily show. Um, you know, I, I, I want to thank you guys for, for watching, Get, uh, please, uh, give a thumbs up and a share. If you, if you find this useful, I want to thank the 97 viewers that are on. I, I really can't believe I have that many already. I think, uh, it took world crypto network, like, I don't know, a few years to get to like a hundred live viewers. So, um, I, I want to thank you guys very much for subscribing and doing all that stuff. Um, and uh and yeah there there's a there's a lot of stuff no lightning is not developed by a single company there's a lot of different companies that are doing it anyway um seeing some of this stuff that's scrolling by on chat um anyway uh wow over 100 that's kind of crazy uh thank you guys so much i will hopefully keep doing this um i i'll, I'll try this for at least a week see how it goes see if uh my audience grows as a result of trying sort of like a technical daily show um, uh, I, I'll skip tomorrow, but, uh, but you know, pretty much every day of the week, except Sunday, I'll, I'll, I'll do my thing. Anyway, thank you very much. And this song is done. <laughs>